when students enter exams, we tend to know roughly where they're up to before they go in anyway. Obviously, there are kids who perform better and worse on the day, um, but we will continue to do the assessment that we've always done. Obviously, we've got students that we know are lower attainers, middle attainers, higher attainers, but, but we as teachers are good at and should continue to have our own knowledge that we, we pass between uh, between individual teachers and, and collate as departments. Um, so that's how we should be preparing our students for a linear. We, we, shouldn't be, we, shouldn't, we should never have been using uh, modular assessments uh, to try and gauge us of where our students are. It has always been difficult to benchmark students. With the modular system, it suits some students. It doesn't suit others. Um, some students are um, more favourable of the bite-sized chunks, but at the end of the day we do have to be able to compare the GCSEs and are they on a level playing field when some students take it at the end of a two-year phase as opposed to during the two-year phase. Um, how we do it, I mean, is we're talking SATs for 16-year-olds here. 